Here go this dude with another video. <laughs> playing on with a video from a subscriber actually this is a subscribers fucking request <laughs> all right now check me out this person wanted to know how do you take a loose the uh the front suspension on here uh actually you know what this person wanted to know about how to take the ball joints out so this is what i'm i'm i'm, I'm doing right now how to take the front suspension loose and then i'm gonna i'm gonna say something about the ball joints as well just, just deal with me on this one, cause I'm not finna cut this out. I'm not finna do nothing, no editing, none of this. I'm gonna get this shit to y'all, 100 real raw, no nothing. You feel me? So, I done took everything loose already. I done jacked, jacked the truck. <clears throat> I mean, jacked the car up. I said truck, my dumb ass. I jacked the truck up, took the wheels off. Dumbass. Now I'm gonna tell you, you right now what you're gonna truck. need. You're gonna need these four stands. Make sure you get some that's good and not that old cheap bullshit from Harbor Freight that'll fall on you, kill you, then you out of the damn picture. We don't want that shit. <sighs> Crack your hood up, you know. You're going you're gonna to have to crack your hood up because you got to get in here to take some shit apart. You feel me? Those wheels are loose. You know, like I just said, took those loose. Now back to this. Floor jack. See what I'm saying? Put one, each one up under there. That's how you want to put those joints under there. Right in between your nose. You see that? There you see that right there. So you can have some room. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. For those who probably don't have two of these, you might want to get two of these because you're going to need them. You need one from the front. This is all support. Like I said, from those, they can be, these can be good at some times, but I don't trust them. It's always good to have some type of extra support to keep this car in order so you don't have to really be under here and then some shit fall on you. Then next thing you know, boom, like I said, out the picture. <laughs> always put you a stop block back there. A stop block can mean anything, a piece of wood, a big ass rock. You can use your kids if you want to. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but put something back there to keep this bitch from rolling back. And once you know, once you do that, put your damn parking, your emergency brake on. You gonna need that as well. That's just added security. You know, don't be a dumbass. Work smart, so you won't kill yourself. So I got titty. Now let's get into this. First thing you wanna do, you wanna come in here, take off this damn uh, cap, this cotter pin to this castle nut, so you get this inside uh, tie rod out. Once you do that, you come on over here to the outer tie rod. The outer tie rod, the same thing. Cotter pin, castle nuts. Now both of these, both of these castle nuts on here on both sides, you know what I'm saying, on both sides, they are uh, a 19 millimeter or uh, three quarters, right there. So you should be good on any one of those. Now, another thing too, if that, uh, if your uh, castle nut is old and you know, and that 19 millimeter not working, it's not gripping right, just get the 18 millimeter, that same thing I did with these, because I had some old ones on here that it wasn't gripping, so I had to go and get a 19 and they took it off. Man, now, I thought you said 18. This is this now. Now we finna get into uh, taking these, taking this suspension apart. Before you do anything, this is this these two nuts down here. These are your uh, your shock absorber. This is your let me. These are the bolts to your shock absorber. These is two bolts here and it's one on top. So we, we finna go look up top right now. So you can see what you gotta take loose up top. Oh, this is a broken piece. Put this down the inside real quick. Go on to push it back in anyway. All right, now here we go. This is your top patrol arm. Top patrol arm, they call that whatever. I don't, I don't get no fuck what you call these damn pieces. It's part of the fucking suspension, man. My bad, y'all, for <laughs> cussing so much, but that's part of my language. You know what I'm saying? I'm smart when I want to be smart. I talk shit when I need to. Uh, excuse me. Now look. You have a, uh, oh, my bad. We're talking about the damn shock, I mean, shock absorber. This is your shock, shock absorber right here. This nut here, uh, I think it's a 10, 10 or 11, 10, 10 or 11, I think. You take this off. You see mine kind of rusty. You know it got to be changed. This is something I got to do. And I've been procrastinating on this shit, so. And plus, I got another car. I'm just, this is just a car I just be playing with, so. This right here, you take this off. Once you take this one off, then you go back down to the bottom up under here. Now look, same thing like I said, take these two off. This whole, once you take these off, see that this shock is over on the inside of the spring here? This whole piece, all this, once you take it off from the top, that bolt and all that, this is gonna fall out. I mean, damn, my dumb ass, not from the top. Take these two out, then it's gonna fall out. And once you've done that, like I said, you need another one of these. You take that one, take that, uh, that jack, and you put it under here. 
Make sure you put it on there. I mean, also you can put it here. Just put it right here because you took the shock absorb out. So, nah, we're going to make it easier. We just put, put it right here. Just don't fuck up your ball joint. If you're taking these ball joints out, you ain't give a fuck. You ain't got nothing to worry about. But just put that, uh, that floor jack right in here so you can push this hole, push this up a little bit. See how low this is with no, no wheel on it. What you want to do is you want to push this up to have at least a little bit of pressure on that. You don't want the spring to pop out because these springs, this bitch will pop out. This whole piece will come down fast as hell. Like, <laughs> damn sure don't want that bullshit. So make sure you get a floor jet to put up under here to keep this damn thing steady. Now, once you do that, <clears throat> once you do that, you come on over here and then you take a loose your, um, your caliper that's right here. Take this caliper loose. There's two bolts, there's two bolts behind here. Uh, those two bolts, I think they are uh, a 21, I think a 21 or a 22, which is, let's, I'm going to show you what they, they got up under here. All right. Well, we, oh, yeah, we back here. Okay. This is one right here. This is the bottom one. And where's the top? That's the top right there. This is the top. That's the bottom. Once you take those two out. Ah, fuck. This hit my fucking head. Shit. I might believe you later. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. Once you do that, this whole piece, you take it off. You know what I'm saying? This whole, all this, boom, comes right off. Don't matter if you took this off or not. It's still up. Just take all this off. Get you a string and hang it up. And hang this other thing up somewhere up here. You know, find somewhere in here you want to hang that motherfucker up. Or you just get you a crate and sit it on, sit it on there right on the side because you don't want to rupture this damn line because then that'll be another problem you got to deal with now let's push this stuff on up in here all right now once you do that once you take this caliper off you come on over here to this sway bar link this is your sway bar link this is that whole thing that runs from that side see that right there that's sway bar link all the way over this way see i gotta change that see that that boat loose <laughs> I gotta do another video, I'll do a video on that too. This uh you come on in here, follow this, follow this here, look for your uh linkage. You gotta you have a uh, bolt, I mean a nut here, and you have a nut up here. I suggest you take off this top bolt first. Take off this top bolt, once you take that out, this whole piece comes it, it it goes back about this far to this. You can take it out, twist it, and you know, put it to the side and then you know move this up out of the way. Then you can move over to this other BS. This, <clears throat> like once you take it, take that sway bar link off on this side. Come in, you know, take these two bolts out right here. This here drop down. I don't know the I don't know the actual size of this uh stabilizer box. I don't know if it's a 24, I mean 22, I don't know, 24, 25, 28 millimeter, what the fuck? I don't I don't know. I gotta do some more research on that and figure out which one that is. But once you get that off. This whole piece, man, it'll drop down. Only if you're changing your spray by link and all the bushes on here, you can drop out. You can take all this out, drop it down. That's 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 what I'm saying. That's only if you're changing it, and if you want to do all that. Now, once you take that off, like I said, we got this off now. This is naked. That's gone. Only thing we gonna have is all this here. This whole spindle, you know, with all the. Uh, I said, I was going to say the rotor. <laughs> yeah, the rotor there. There we go. We're gonna be, uh, that's, that's why I'm going to be here. And this is going to be gone as well. Now, you come up here and take this uh, this piece off. Man. This damn nut that's in here. Now I'm kind of greasy and dirty. This is like a whole month of goddamn grease build up. Now, if this right here is caked up. You know, you can't see it. It's caked up. It's right there. There's a bolt there. And there's a nut on this side. Take that nut off. And once you take that off, like I said, take those when you, when you take these off. Before you take these off, make sure you still have your damn jack under here. Like I said before, make sure it's still sturdy. That is up. You take this off. Once you take this off, this whole top of the arm um, it lifts up. Once it lifts up, now you can get on the inside of here. This whole piece here is gonna come this way. It's gonna come forward a little bit. And once it come forward, <coughs> you have a uh, a castle nut. And I caught a pin on the inside of here. I'm trying to get in here so you can see. There she go right there. This is what you want to take off. This takes off this whole spindle. This whole piece that I was talking about. 
it takes this off, all this. So, once you take that cotter pin out, you get that capsule nut off, impact, take that motherfucker off. You're gonna need a um, a ball joint puller. Basically, you take the, the spindle up off of the, that ball, <clears throat> ball joint puller. It just goes in up under here. You know, it, it has some teeth, it has two look, two teeth, man. It's basically, you know what, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Uh. Let's see, here we go. I haven't used it yet. But this is what it looked like. The top of that nut, this is what's gonna hold on to the top of the nut. This is gonna grab that bottom piece down there, which is, this is not for that, this is for the tie rod, but this is actually what it looks like though. All my, or you can just go ahead and hammer that damn thing out. You know. Now let's get back up on here. So once you take that off, now. <clears throat> once you take that off, all this is gone. You have nothing here, none of that. So the only thing you got left is just your jack stand holding up your little patrol arm and your spring. Now what you want to do, do not let <clears throat> Do not let your jack stand, jack stand down too damn fast because if you do, that spring gonna come flying out of there. So gently let it down, you know. Let it down until there's no compression on that spring no more. Then you can come over here because on this side over here, all this is gonna be gone. <clears throat> this whole piece, it's gonna be to the floor. Now you might need it, once you take it off, take that uh, jack stand from under there, you probably need a little bit more pressure with your feet to push this piece down just to get that spring out. Because that spring is it's kinda long. You see how See how deep, see how deep this uh frame is, right? That spring goes all the way up to this top right, this top part right here. See what this rubber at right here? It meets, uh, it meets right right up in here. That's where it meets at. So it's, it's kind of it's long. This might maybe like a good, almost what a foot and a half long, I say, give or take. But once you does, you take that off. All this, all this, this whole patrol arm is gonna fall down. And then you ain't got no no compression, no nothing in there. Now you can get over and over here. And take out this uh this nut on this side to this little control arm. This is the nut, the nut right here on the inside. See that? Just follow it, see? Right up in there. And she right there. And then you have your a nut right here. Right there. You might want to get that and get it out. But see, I know I got to change mine, man. My bushes and everything has to be fucking changed. Once you get that one out, you just go to the other side. Oh. Other side right here, same thing. You got the bolt right here. And then the nut is on the uh, inside. It's on this side here. Let's get up. That should go right there. You know, get your two wrenches, take that off. Uh, now, if you take everything off, if you're taking this uh, Pittman, oh, something got my eye. This Pittman arm, the steering link is what we call it. We ain't, we ain't talking about this right now. But if you take all this off, you can get in here with an impact drill if it's too tight or whatever. Then, once you do that, you come up here to these, uh, this top control arm. Now, see, you want to take all this up, this whole inside wheel well up. That's, some people don't, some people do. That's the, the, the way, if you want a good, clear aim and you want to get at all this here, you, to get into these here, they take those off. So, you see what I'm saying? Now, I showed you how to take that thing loose. It's, it's easy, it's not that hard. Now, the only way, you just work in reverse. Put everything back together, you know? Put your new one in, up top, tie those down, you know, and all that. Go back, put your little, put your little control arm back in, put your bolt in there, your nut, then on this side, bolt and nut, tighten those down. Then you push the control, oh, you push this control arm down, put your spring back in there, get your uh, your floor jack, push it right back up, you know, push it all the way up on there. Then you then you can you can actually put your uh, your shockers over in there and tighten it in and tighten it up top so you can at least have some type of pressure on it, you know. But <laughs> that's dumb. Don't do it. <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna do nothing but it, it make that that shock is over it you know expand you know, so just keep the uh what's the name on there your uh your floor jack you know just work in reverse 
and then you take your uh, spindle, put your spindle back on. You know, put your nut, put your uh, calcium nut back on, cotter pin. <clears throat> Once you go ahead and do that, go ahead and put the uh, connect this back on the uh, top. You know, connect the spindle back to the top control arm, and then you come on over here, put your damn brake, put your brake back on. Put your sway by linkage back together and then put your tie rod back on there. Then boom, guess what? Put that shock absorber in through the bottom. Come up top. Tighten that down. Go back to the bottom, tighten that down. Now guess what? You all done. Now, if you want to take those ball joints out, this top ball joint. Now look, for those who do not want to buy a whole new top control arm, see these two bolts? These two bolts and nuts right here? These, you can take these off. This take these off, it's a it's a, uh, a ball joint that goes on here without even taking this whole piece off. You can put a, a whole new one on there. You know, it's 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 it's, it's actually it's not that hard, man. I'm telling you, it's not. Then, same thing here. I'm, I'm, my bad keep showing you the same type of image but this here on this control arm that's your ball joint this here with this little rubber boot rubber boot at that uh to take that off you need a uh a ball joint press now a ball joint press you can get those from uh autozone uh, um harbor freight but i suggest you get a good one uh but that is it's nothing it's just like a little circle you know circles you put down on top it's like some little pieces you put you know I have a, you know what? I think I just might buy it and just show you, just to see what, just to show you what it looked like. But only thing you do is just put the piece on top. There's a space that you put in between. You no, know, you know, it's like a little cup. You put it in between there uh, and at the bottom, and you just drill down on it, and you just don't do nothing but just push it out. That's all. Ooh, get in here. Oh, oh phone fell on my face. See, there we go. I forgot about this. Uh, and uh, before you do anything, I mean, like before you start taking loose anything, make sure you take your electrical apart. This right here, that right, it's an, I think it's a, uh, a eight millimeter, a seven or eight. That's all what it is. Just get in there, take that out. Once you do that, then you can continue with everything else. But <laughs> that's the video, and I hope y'all like it.